Let's play here. Well, alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 21, 2772 part 3. What we have done today is we re-listened to our 2772 cadences and arpeggios from last time. We reflected on how to make it go shadow and how to make it go C change. So we ended up rearranging and modulating the original six lines into 24, 24 lines, all these lines here. The modulations gave us both shadow and C change effects because we modulated plus two and plus four, and four is an allusion to the bright scale we call D flat 411, or T, D flat 41, and the C change is changing the root, a fundamental change. We also made a line diagram and energy chart showing uh, all of this. Here is the line diagram we came up with. So we basically, what bar were we at? So here we are at the pickup bar, which is bar zero, section A, line one, line two, and so forth, all of these things. Then we gave them energy scores uh, was there a modulation? Down here we modulated plus two, plus four, and we gave them, uh, was there a change in modulation? So we tracked that as well. We called that a vector change, which hey now liked. Then we also tracked harmony, half statens ambivalence. Uh, statenses have zero dissonance, half is one and ambivalent, and then we added that all up and we got an energy. And that energy chart looks like this. So it looks kind of cool. We also looked at it two different ways. This was elapsed time in seconds and we made it to show our 30 second intervals because our uh, estimate is that 30 seconds is about as much time as someone can pay attention to a, a steady composition or whatever and, and actually we're shifting a bit more than that. Uh, each of these is the six sections, one, two, three, four, five, six. We also looked at it in terms of straight structural or score bar number, and it's very evident here that there's six parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, C, D, E, F, like of that. And we practice running through this uh, composition, listening to it, and kind of keeping track of where we were on this chart. So what we're going to do to end up for you is we also decided to uh, have some fun and uh, play around with timbres. So we're going to we're going to let this run through and uh, play, and we'll try to track it for you while it's playing. So here we go.
And there you have it. That was a hoot. It was especially interesting to compare looking at the, the score from or the energy chart from time and uh, from structure. So ideas for next steps are uh, to do a music visualization. That would be pretty cool. It really, we, we, really, we cycled, we cycled those clarinet and oboe and uh, flute. And that added a lot of interest, we thought, keeping our attention engaged, because otherwise it was the same six lines, just arranged in different patterns. And, and we did, again, begin to experiment with timbres, but we could add dynamics and tempos. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you, as always, for your time and attention. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.